Uh, welcome back. This week's narrative. Collector's cards is just a fad. I know. I know. I wanted to cover this because it's it's hot right now in the Discord. It's hot right now on the Twitter, at least on the BDG Twitter, the only Twitter that fucking matters. <laughs> um, it's hot, you know, everywhere. I'm starting to get into it because I'm a I'm a one. I'm a degenerate gambler. That's number one. Two. I come from an investment and finance background. So this stuff kind of always intrigues me where there's very inefficient markets. I know Nick's been starting up uh, with some really cool, uh, I don't know what the fuck you call it, card pack, card trading. I don't know, whatever, you, whatever, whatever box, the shit you're selling. Box breaking. Yeah, box breaking. Whatever it is, the shit well, you're selling. People don't really know that inside these is just drugs. I'm just actually, <laughs> <laughs> there's no cards in here. That's, that's, that's where less, I like, store. valuable than if it was cards. I know. Dude, dude, dude legit, I, losing money. I got my parents <laughs> to try and look up uh, some of my old card boxes and they, they pulled one thing out. They sh- showed me a picture and it was, uh, it was some, uh, some wrapping paper. And they're like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, I don't know, man. Cigarette wrapping paper. <laughs> what pro- do you want from me? Yeah. The, the problem looks. is <laughs> 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 the problem is with the cards. Um, I'm, I'm actually super intrigued to see how this goes for the next like year or two. Because I've, I mean, obviously it's a fad. There are there are going to be cards that hold value, right? There are going to be a lot of, a lot of things hold value for a long time. But I feel like the world that we live in now, like the value of things, loses its value very quickly because word of mouth is instant, instantaneous, you know. And Mike, we talked about this a little bit. Like cards and, and the value of them is it's strikingly fucking similar to dynasty fantasy football. Yep. Where things like legit like one good twitter clip comes out and like people want to start buying the cards of of that player and shit and that that's going to cause a lot of people to lose money a lot of people are going to start gambling on players and um we're going to see a huge influx of of money going to just the fact that like you have dudes like us who probably wouldn't have thought about it given a second thought and uh and then you just see it everywhere and you're like oh it'd be i'm i'm looking at it more from like a fun standpoint and it's going to be like good content and stuff and it's actually really fun just opening up the cards and like seeing people go crazy and shit um, but yeah, I mean, it will lose its value eventually. It will get uncool. And then in 20 years, it'll probably get cool again. But cards have been around for like a hundred years. So they, they continue uh, to Can do we their do thing. some like insider trading type of stuff. Like we put out Twitter videos, like Scott does a really good edit. And then you just like invest in a card and we just flip them for cash. We could do that. Yeah. I don't know if we have enough clout for that. Like, no, we we'll definitely have like four, four oh. people to buy a card. <laughs> well, we definitely got clout. Yeah, I see I like love- everybody like throw like Yannick is putting in pictures of all of his cards in our group chat. He's, he's throwing out pictures of, like a KD card that was it's worth like twenty five hundred and like Kobe rookie cards. Yeah, so people Who's are uh, Yannick, and people oh, are yeah. just people are just like finding all their old cards from back in the day. I went back to my mom's house last week and found my old collection and shit. Um, the problem is like with all the stuff that you find from back in the day, they're all mostly in kind of like shitty condition, or if they're not, like you still have to get them graded for them to be of value. Yeah, I mean that's that's what I'm doing right now with like my parents. Like I, I they they sent me a picture of a blue eyes white dragon Yu Gi Oh card. Um, so I got one of those, and all of my shit's mint because I was a fucking nerd. I told you I was like, this is why I learned how to hustle back in the day. I started with like some fucking shitty Pokemon card, just like worked my way and just like t- literally hustled people, hustled people, and uh, I'd, I'd always put them all. I put them all in like these like plastic sleeves, and I put the plastic sleeves in like a hard case or like a binder. So see, what's crazy now though is it's not even always about the like condition of the card like centered right shit like that centering is really big so if you look at some of the cards like uh, like it's, it's literally like the outline like the box around the cards you could see someone someone literally hooked it up today with like sent me like 50 cards i don't know if you saw me post on twitter about it yeah, yeah i saw yeah. the roddy white one so think of like this you see like the white outline mm-hmm. yeah yeah so like sometimes you'll see it where it's like an extra centimeter on the right side and not to the left side. And when people say like centering, like either up or down or to the left and right, like that will affect the score, even though like you, print had no, quality. you had no fucking input on that. You're like, how are you yeah. going to send me a card <laughs> that's like an inch off and then tell me it's not, <laughs> it's not high quality. I'm like, this is fucking bullshit. Oh yeah. yeah. Look, it's going to be, I think it's pretty interesting. I'm getting into it now. Um, like the reason why I'm getting into it, you know, we talked about this uh, via text, but like, you know, I do so much work on the dynasty side and I'm just like, the, the, I make all my like the reason why I find I find success in Dynasty or if you can call it success is because 
I'm decently good at like identifying trends and values before they break out. So I think I can kind of just take that and apply it to the car trading games. So doesn't like not much of a workload for me. I picked up a few boxes of, uh, of the Panini like uh, origin cards. So I'll probably unbox those at some point on the next, next video on BBB. But yeah, I think it's interesting, man. It's definitely a fad. I a hundred percent think it's a fad. I think it's honestly, I think it's like fucking stupid that people even paid this much money for a piece of paper with some like fucking glitter on it. <laughs> like, and someone signed it. It's like yeah. so stupid, but the, the cards, the, the level of like craziness that it's about to get to right now is a fad. Like obviously cards will always be in and like the old school ones will have their value and keep their value for a long time. But like the way we're about to get into it, we're not going to be caring about it in two years when, yeah. when the value of the cards go down. That's the way I'm looking at it. So yeah, yeah. that's what I would consider a fad. Yeah, exactly. I also think it's, it's crazy that like that Charizard card sold for a hundred thousand dollars, and then I looked it up on YouTube, and like a couple like tens of twenties of people like actually packed it out of like a pack. I'm like, okay, why are you selling for a hundred thousand bucks when like people are actually getting them out of packs? Like if they're still coming out, why are you paying that much for a card? No, the packs aren't being made anymore. Like those are yeah, those, those are like, are like oh, they're just old. Like just found them. They're like yeah, people like held them from yeah. like 1994. Yeah, people have held those for like 20 years. Like those cards aren't being made no more. So that yeah. pack itself is worth like fucking like i don't know like imagine being the person that sold the pack for like 200 bucks and there's a hundred thousand dollars in there yeah or they sold it for like you know like 20 bucks which is probably the fair value of what it was going back then like dude (laughs) i'm trying to think of like what they how much we spent on them back in the day because i I mean we would go and get them all the fucking time i'm like they couldn't be more than like I thought they were like five pack, bucks right? for like a little pack. They were five. They were five to ten dollars. I would I would walk around in parking lots and return carts back when you had to like put a fucking quarter or a dollar in for to rent carts in grocery stores. I collect like five or ten of them like after school. Kind of ghetto ass grocery carts. Buy a Pokemon card. That. That's like Dude, this is, I live in the ghetto area. I live in the ghetto area, man. The people steal fucking <laughs> shopping carts and shit. Um, but yeah, like, what are you gonna do if you steal a fucking grocery shop a grocery cart? I don't do know. Do if I, that operate as your home, your car, dude, no, your car now. No, they use it to like to like ship stuff around at home. You know, like as like a, as their own cart. Anyways, look, I didn't fucking steal them. You gotta, gotta have a big ass. Them. You gotta have a big ass house. You can't be fucking poor to have a big enough house to be able to use a shopping cart within it. Fuck that. Anyways, Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. fuck it. Right. I would I would kill to open up a fucking pack of original Pokemon. Cards. Same, so dude. fun. Same. Um, all right, that's all we got for you guys. Uh, make sure you tune in for the weekly film, those in half theaters. Make sure you tune in for Noah's vids, just dropping them on Thursday like it's hot. And uh, you know, next week we'll back you again with another same schedule, man. Maybe we'll open some cars, maybe we'll talk about some Dubai sales. But if you liked it, thumbs up that shit, subscribe helps us more than you know. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the Bunk Bed Breakdowns channel and the BDG main channel. Uh, follow Nick, follow Noah, follow me if you want. If you don't, Oh, 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 oh,